I am going on my very first run. I'm gonna do pizza night tonight. That's some more. Uh, this is my lube. The rain, do you hear this? Oh no, that's so bad. I hope he's okay. That Here's my pizza. Half marathons though, I would do like all day long. So annoyed. A natural nail journey. On my current vacation. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I will say that doesn't hurt my knees. This has been my go-to. It had to grow on me though. Gummy, I'm all about it. I feel like I'm much more concerned with like longevity. YouTube is the best social media. Like, I'm obviously so proud of myself for doing that. Cute dogs eating your breakfast. Yeah, it's meant to be. Okay, I'll have to make some. Say good morning to the peoples. Say good morning, everybody. Good morning. We got up at six and we had to go party. Oh, I said the wrong word. And then, did you get some good breakfast? Did mom feed you good breakfast? Yes, it was yummy. Oh, he's a working boy. Oh, he's a working boy. Oh, he's a working boy. Let me see this cool shirt you got on. A little something slight. A little something slight. Cool. Show me these new shoes. Little, Where'd you get those, brother? Little Lululemon. Got them in the mail. He got, Lululemon sent us some PR and they sent us their new shoes. And they sent Bronson a pair too and he's, he's feeling himself. When you open the fridge, you gotta close it. Okay, well, I'm just a girl. She's just a girl. to my channel oh. today I am going on my very first run since I've been having some troubles with my knee I've also just taken off a really long time from running and I wanted to try and run like at least a mile which I think is gonna be fine but I, I don't know I'm gonna keep going and hopefully it doesn't hurt I would like to run five miles today but like I just don't know if that's in the cards for me ow, ow. Do I have a hair tie? Yes, I do. We're going with the braided pony today. How crazy. Lovely. How cute. I answered this question on my Instagram the other day because someone asked if I would ever run another marathon or if I was thinking about another marathon. I toy with the idea of running another marathon almost every day. However, the Dallas Marathon, I've just, I've never been, it was not a horrible experience. I don't wanna say it was a horrible experience, but like, 
it was not the best experience. <laughs> like, I'm obviously so proud of myself for doing that, obviously. But I was in so much pain. My knee just, when you have to push the pace, like obviously it's a race, so you wanna do really well. And when you try and run fast, like that's when like injury can happen. So yeah, races are just like really hard. Like full marathons are just like really, really a tough distance for my knee. Half marathons though, I would do like all day long. Like I love 10 to 14 ish, like that range of miles feels really good. I feel like just really good about it and I feel like I can run it really well. So I would do another half, but another full, I don't know about that. The only other full on my bucket list is the New York City Marathon, but that one's also really hilly. So I'm scared and I'm like, I don't, I don't know. And it's, it's become like so incredibly hard to like actually get a spot to run it, which is wild. But here's the outfit of the day. If you can see these leggings are from LSKD. This is like a new favorite brand for me. So quality, like everything they make is just like such high quality and so nice fitting. So these are their running leggings with the pocket. My favorite leggings though are the Elixir leggings. Like those have taken my number one spot of any leggings. Also the Amazon leggings, you know, I love those. Um, this top is actually like older Lululemon. Um, I don't wear it that often, but it's like, has these like mesh. <laughs> pieces and like look at the holes of the sleeve haha <laughs> kind of cool kind of cute kind of funky and then i just got these new new balances i think they're called the rebel i don't know they're the brand new ones um that they just came out they're trainers i really like them so far they're so light like if you pick up the shoe by itself so light it's crazy i had some pr sent to me the other day and i <laughs> I'm so obsessed. You guys know how much I love gummy vitamins. That's my kryptonite. Like, I love gummy vitamins, okay? I, I've gotten better at taking pills, so I will take a pill if I need to, but anything with a gummy, I'm all about it. These are from, it's the brand called Spoiled Child, okay? This is glass, it's reusable, it's really nice quality. They are apple cider vinegar and probiotic nutraceutical gummies. Ooh, I should be careful though. They have B12 in them and B12 makes me break out. But regardless, I'm gonna keep taking them until I, if I think that they're like making me break out, I will stop. Oh my God, they taste so good. And you can take four, which is like amazing. Uh, and they taste like green apple. Mm, mm, mm. Here's what else I take. I take this acne supplement. I ran out of my, uh, this one. I ran out, I finished this one, the Spearmint ones from Amazon. I'm obsessed with these, they're great. These have like pretty much really, really similar ingredients. It's from this brand, Poor Favor. And uh, so I'm just doing, the serving size is one, but I, or two, but I'm just taking one a day. I'm trying to kind of like back myself off of these. And then Bio Aston, Astaxanthin. I don't know how to say this, but I found this on TikTok and it's really good for skin health. It protects you from UV from the inside out, which is crazy. And I have been taking them ever since my Bahamas trip. And on the Bahamas trip, like everyone else got fried. I did not even get a remote sunburn, like at all. I got tan, but like I didn't, I did not burn at all. And like everybody else got fried, which is crazy. So it could be because of these, I don't know. I'm getting better. Uh, why am I literally scared to go on this run? Like, mm, it's so humbling when you stop running and then you have to start back up. So humbling. I've been doing my treadmill runs though. So I'm like, I should be fine, right? But running outside, I feel like it's just different. Honestly, I prefer treadmill runs, which I know is like not the norm, but maybe it's cause it doesn't hurt my knee that much. And I've just been doing them recently, but I feel like I prefer them. Okay. Off I go. Wish me luck. I'm scared. Bye, stinkies. Bye, bye. <sighs> oh, jeez. Hi. Hi. That was a little disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. I only went a mile and a half. I know, okay, hi, hi, hi. Honestly, a little discouraging. I went a mile and a half and it just, 
it was hurting right off the bat but it just like progressively got worse also last time i went on gosh it was like at least a month ago now my last outdoor run it put me out like that was the most pain that my knee has been in in so long and um yeah so that's why i haven't done any more outdoor runs which is like annoying but to be honest with my approach to fitness I feel like I'm much more concerned with like longevity now rather than like obviously I want a good workout and I want to, I want to like have a really successful hard intense workout but not at the cost of like injury does that make sense whereas like I used to like push it push it push it back in the day whereas now I'm more like okay if it's hurting like Let's not be stupid here. It's kind of where I'm at. So it's like discouraging, but also it's just not my time. Um, I did see someone about my knee and they gave me some advice that like, which I already knew this, your IT band, when it gets really tight, it can pull on your knee and cause a lot of pain. I do think I have tendonitis, but I think that it could be a combo because he was like, your IT band is incredibly tight. Like it's like a rock. Like you need to roll it out with a lacrosse ball. You need to do like the massage gun. So I've been doing that, but obviously I haven't been doing it for that long. So so yeah, I think I just need a little more time, which is fine. I'm just gonna stick to treadmill runs because that doesn't hurt me. We're sticking to that. I think I still am gonna go to the gym because I was literally, that's just basically like a little warm up. I was literally running for 12 minutes total. So I'm gonna do, have a little pre. Look at, are you kidding? Mango, stop biting him. She hangs on his collar all day long. That's all she does is just bite his collar, bite his neck. I'm like, you gotta stop. You're literally harassing him. I'm going rainbow snowy. Rainbow snow cone, definitely one of my top favorites. We actually just launched a new flavor. If you are a green apple person, this one tastes just like the green apple Jolly Ranchers. That's exactly what this flavor tastes like. And it is really, 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 really good. If you like green apple. I am not a huge green apple person, just in general, like it's not my flavor that I pick, but I still think this one's really good. It's just not my personal fave. My top picks, everyone always asks me this. My top picks are Rainbow Snow Cone. I actually love Sour Gummy. It had to grow on me though, because it is a little on the sour side, but I, it's one of my top favorites. I will always choose a pink lemonade flavor, no matter what it is. So those are my top three. Well, I want to make sure you need to go by there. Six house, six that door. You brought it? Yeah, I got it. <gasps> oh, stop, I, Mango. I'd be back over at Mother's office at 12.15. Oh, geez. What time is, is it? I don't okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's so annoying. Do you guys see where I get it from? You gotta do it on this side. No. What are you talking about? To take off the hinges? I wasn't planning on taking off the hinges. I was Why just going to pop the pin. Oh, I don't even know how to do can, that. Can Bronson help you put it back on if I if I shorten it? Don't you just screw it? Yeah, I just don't know if I have a lot of time. Yeah, do you want the drill? Oh, uh, yeah, you have a drill? Yeah. He brought this like little machine that, okay, this is, this is dumb, but our bathroom door makes this most annoying noise. It catches on the tile because the tiles are a little bit higher than the floor that was in here before. So we just shaved it down. Now there's, there's a big mess outside, but that's okay. But I'm so happy because now it shouldn't make that noise anymore. Oh. oh. Oh, that's tonight. Oh, you see, are I you ready both? I drove her to work today because I had my meeting and I figured out. Oh, that's fine.
This freaking gluten-free bread breaks apart. Like it. <sighs> if you have recommendations for good gluten-free bread, please let me know because this one is just not it. I'm gonna need a little snack before I go. I am back in my avocado toast era. This is like, I feel like I get hyper fixated on breakfasts specifically. And my current fixation is avocado toast. Normally I'd want some eggs. I just don't really have time because I have to go to the gym like ASAP. Um, I didn't know my dad was coming. That was so sweet. I will say that doesn't hurt my knee and that's improvement. Because normally any kind of like squatting movement has been hurting my knee. That's an environment. Yeah, I'm so excited about that. God, I'm tired though. I'm squatting in forever. Jeez. Okay, I just got home from the gym and now I'm making a little lunch. This has been my go-to. All of these are frozen foods. That's why it's been my go-to because it's been so easy. I buy like a bag of frozen veggies and then this is like pesto cauliflower and then just a bag of like frozen already cut up chicken. And then I just let it like heat up and simmer on low heat. And it's so good. I had such a great workout. I did a full glute day which I have not done in so long. I feel like I've just been doing full body workouts, which I have been loving. I have been loving like a full, full body split to where like I don't do anything super heavy on one day. It's actually been really nice. I think I might go for a little bit of like a longer walk later, just to like make sure I'm hitting all my steps and stuff, but it was great. And now I'm home and it's a little cold in here. I'm not gonna lie. It's like kind of chilly outside. It's raining today. It's been raining so much here and I don't like it. I'm not a, I'm not a rainy day kind of girl. Every now and then it's nice. If you're like cuddled up watching a movie or like about to go take a nap, that's when I love a rainy day. But just for like every day, I'm like, that. that's not, I don't like. Yum. I am just gonna sit and eat my lunch and watch a YouTube video. I feel like people think that I don't necessarily watch YouTube if I make YouTube videos, but I am like avid YouTube watcher. Like I will die on this hill. YouTube is the best social media. It's just elite. Like it makes me feel like I'm actually friends with the person, even though like I, I've never met any of the people that I follow on YouTube. I like love YouTube videos. I'll watch it when I'm eating my lunch. Honestly, instead of like a TV show, I'll watch YouTube videos. And then if I ever do like cardio on the treadmill, always gotta have a YouTube video. That's just my two cents. And obviously I'm a little biased because I'm a YouTuber. Uh, after I eat this, I'm gonna have to go and do some computer work for a little bit and then I will catch up with you guys. Okay, I don't think I told you guys on the vlog yet. Okay, this one broke. I'm so sad about it. I have been trying really hard to grow out my natural nails and they are looking so good. Like, look at this one. Are you freaking kidding me? That looks so good. I put this stuff called OPI um, Nail Envy on it and it makes your nails like so hard and I just make sure I'm filing them like almost every day. This one I'm really, really sad about because they were looking so good. But anyways, that's my natural nail journey. Okay, I just got showered. Here is my little outfit that I decided to put on. I decided to be comfy. I just got this sweatshirt from Dairy Boy, which it's really cute. However, they only had an extra large left and honestly, normally that would be fine, but definitely run small. Like this is an extra large and it like doesn't even feel that big. So I'm like, sizing feels a bit off, but that's okay. And then these are just some flares from Abercrombie. Like, I think they're really cute. I'm really into flares right now. Flares like a big oversized hoodie and some cute like New Balances, which I'm wearing these like all tan New Balances. Very cute. That's the outfit of the day. You're crazy. And you get in the couch all wet. Stinky. 
Stinky. Stinky. Don't bite me. Stinky. Stinky. <laughs> You're being so weird. And you are the perfect angel child. Do not attack him. You are a mess. You're perfect, Mr. Bean. You're perfect. I love it so much. Oh, let me love him. Okay, I'm eating a little snacky. I think I'm gonna do some of this uh, Siggy's Greek yogurt. Some fruit. And I'm just doing protein powder. Okay, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> But when I make this snack, I always have to take one of these. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I always have to take one of these. It's like a dairy assist. It's like a digestive enzyme that helps you digest dairy. My lactose intolerant girlies know, okay? Where is my water bottle? It's literally so good. And I know, I know it seems like gross, but protein powder and yogurt, but mm, it's so good. Okay, two cute dogs ready for dinner. Sit. Dear God, thank you for this food. Help it to nourish our bodies and help us to be really good and obedient dogs. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beans, you went early. Go ahead. Good girl. Look at her crimps. Good job, girl. You did a stinky went early. Okay, I have another project to do and literally no one is surprised. <laughs> But when we redid the bathroom, we never had the guys hang these mirrors. So I was like, oh, don't worry, I'll do it. Of course, I never got around to doing it. So I'm like, you know what? I should just do that because I went and bought this these little things at Target. I have no idea if this is actually gonna like hold them up, but I felt, I felt like it was easier than like trying to find the studs or doing like anchors. So I was like, maybe these will work. I don't know, they're supposed to hold up to like 50 pounds. This one says literally 50 pounds. So I'm like, maybe, I don't know. These mirrors aren't super heavy, but now I'm like looking at these and looking at the mirrors. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of nervous about that. <laughs> so much better, huh? Can we tell that it's a little unlevel? I feel like you can't really tell. Can you come look? It looks great. You don't think it's crooked? No, I have a pee though. Oh. Okay, why is that one working? This is so annoying. <gasps> That's so annoying. I'm giving up until Bronson gets back or maybe I'll tackle this tomorrow, but I am so annoyed. I hate when I can't do stuff by myself. I don't like having to ask for help. That's a, that's a little me, it's a little me problem. Yeah, especially when it comes to stuff like this, like just so annoying. I also don't like when things just don't work. You know, like these are supposed to be able to hang up to like 50 pounds. Mm, no. Okay, I just had to run the sprouts and get stuff for dinner. I'm gonna do pizza night tonight, which is honestly so easy. I also picked up this Ezekiel bread. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gluten-free, but it doesn't say, oh, never mind. It's not gluten-free, <laughs> I'm dumb. I picked up a rotisserie chicken, pepperoni, obviously, some mozzarella cheese. I also got some turkey pepperoni. Mike's hot honey, if you have not, topped your pizza with this. I know that sounds so crazy. You gotta do it. It's so good. It's so good. Um, and then I got some pizza sauce. And then I like to do my pizzas on lavish bread. It makes it like a thin crust pizza. It's also very macro friendly and it's so easy to make. So I'm gonna do mine on this. And then I got Bronson. Normally we do it on non bread and he loves that, but this time I got like an actual pizza crust and it's grilled and seared sourdough. So I was like, that seems really cool. And it's sourdough. So like, I don't know if it's like really good sourdough, but 
least they tried. Oh my gosh, the rain, do you hear this? It is coming down. Bronson's out there running. Oh no. Oh no, that's so bad. I hope he's okay. That's honestly, I don't like that at all. Let me check his location. Let's see if I can. Not that that's really gonna help me, but hopefully he's like stopped somewhere or like almost home. Oh, he's almost home. Okay, he's not running anymore. I think they probably stopped early. Oh, that's, oh, that's so intense. Hello, my beautiful. Are you soaking what? No, kind of. Oh. It stopped raining and then it got pouring. It is so bad. It started pouring, yeah, I started the song. Oh. Oh, that could be fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! This is my lube. Stop calling it lube. That's what That's it is. so, no. Mm. It's petroleum. What is it called? Petroleum jelly for my gooch. Oh my god. <laughs> For my butt crack. Stop! Oh, pizza night? Yeah, pizza night. Oh, yeah. heck yeah. Here's my pizza. Here's Bronson's. I'm so proud of you for the veggies. Thank you, thank you. I love mushrooms. All right, let's do this. Okay, you wanna put them in? Yeah. All right. I'm tired. That's some more. That's some more. It is 6.30 in the morning. We got up at 5.45. It just takes me so long to like get up and get ready, but I'm heading off to the gym. I'm gonna go do a little full body day. I'm tired. Bronson and I are, I'm on this journey to become a morning person again. I honestly used to be like up and at him at like 6 a.m. every morning when we were like running, but recently I feel like I have been like, I cannot get up earlier than 8 a.m. Like seriously, it's been so so bad. Oh, so I'm on the journey to becoming a morning person again. And that involves going to bed earlier. And we went to bed at like 11.30. So <laughs> I have a lot of powders work to do today. So I think I'm gonna end off this vlog here because that's not gonna be fun for you guys to watch. Stop for a second. Hey, mango, mango, mango. So there'll be another vlog coming very quickly after this one. Make sure you subscribe so you don't wanna miss any videos that are coming because I have some very exciting stuff in the works. I love y'all and sorry I look like an egg. Sorry it's 6.30 in the morning and I'm ending off the vlog. Okay, love y'all, bye.